In these next problems, we're going to be looking at some mathematical properties. And these are things that probably you spend oh, a, a couple of days on in the first week of math class, and then you usually kind of forget about them. But they're really the, the basic fundamental ideas behind a lot of math. So it's good to do some review of them. This first property, oops, I misspell it, should say reflexive, with an L in there. The reflexive property states that something equals itself. And that seems kind of funny, x equals x might seem really obvious to you, but that's kind of important. So a 2 is a 2, it doesn't suddenly change into a 3 or a 7. So something equals itself. That's the first property, that's called reflexive. The symmetric property says if x equals y, well then the opposite is true too, then y equals x. Also might seem pretty obvious to you, but kind of important to have these basic building blocks down here. All right, now the transitive property gets a little trickier. It says if x equals y and y equals z, I bet you can see where this is going, then x equals z. Okay, so if y is 2 and x equals uh, 2 and then z equals y, which is also 2, well then x has to equal z, which is 2. All right, one last thing, and that is if x equals y, then you can substitute. That is, anytime you see x in an equation, you could put in y, or anytime you see y in an equation, you could put in x. So you can substitute. Now with these problems, the only trick is, is recognizing which property is at work, and I don't think it's going to be too hard. Let's look at this first one. It says, which property is demonstrated by the statement below? And the statement is, if t equals f, then f equals t. And you should notice right away that this is exactly what we have up here under the symmetric property, except the letters are uh, just different, but the, the relationship is the same. So this is a symmetric property. Let's look at another one. This one says, choose the answer of the demonstrated property. If f equals the square root of 7, and f plus e equals 1, then the square root of 7 plus e equals 1. This might be a little harder to see, but they tell us something, that f equals the square root of 7, and then you have one equation and another equation, and in the second equation, they've just substituted square root of 7 in for f. So that is going to be the substitution property. All right, and the last one here. This says, if 3 is greater than the square root of 6, and the square root of 6 is greater than negative 5, then 3 is greater than negative 5. And this one is going to be the transitive property. It's just like we say if x was greater than y, and y was greater than z, then x must be greater than z. So that is transitive. And that's a little bit of work with some properties.